Want to see something cool? That girthy golden calorie conduit is a three inch gas main. It's live and already warming more bored housewives in the neighborhood than I am. We're about to tie it to the house across the street. And to do that, we're going to intentionally melt the motherfucker, then punch a hole through the side. And if that doesn't already have your chocolate starfish doing a great impersonation of a rabbit's nose, we're going to break out the blowtorch directly next to it all for some deep ditch firewire action. There's a reason these guys spend so much time getting trained and certified. First, we're going to clean everything like a Civil War amputation. Just hose it with alcohol and wipe it down. Because nothing ruins a good time like having a little bit of grit on your pipe. Ask anyone who's ever woken up hungover on Gilderton Beach with a silica-based amorous abrasion from the Vixen Vigil of the Antecedent Evening's Affections. Oh, Australia. Now it's time for this fucking thing. It's called a fusion tap. First, we strap it to the side of our main, tied down as tight as an uppity sub. Embedded within this bit of plastic, there's a helical resistive heating element. It's rather like the burner on an electric stove top, and it's just under the surface here. The terminals for the coil are here on these two nipples. We hook up the nipple clamps to Endo's portable power pack like we're trying to get rigs to tell us about the shipment. Smack the switch on this bitch, and now we're pushing pixies. Remember, that's a live gas line, and we've got a heating coil smashed up against the side of it. The important point here is the wall of that tube is as thick as your mom, and it's a thermoform plastic. That means it gets soft as it gets hot, like spending too long in the hot tub. The side of the pipe melts together into the saddle of the clamp, and this forms a perfect seal without any adhesives or solvents. They're thermally welded together in a highly technical process known as melting. The little pop-up timer tells us that it worked. Even though it's permanently attached, there's still no hole in the pipe, so we can pressure test it with no danger of gas. For that, we connect a little valve and a gauge to the air compressor and fill it up with about a hundred pounds of air. The gas will only be at a couple pounds of pressure, so the safety factor here is better than a climbing harness. Now check this out! There's a shuttle in here, like in a trumpet valve. Screw it down and it cuts a hole through the pipe wall. Back it off and it lets the gas flow up into our lateral. Down again and you can turn the gas off to the house. This is brilliant! Tap, test, valve, and tie-in. All done in perfect safety in just a few minutes. And that's pretty cool!